hello now. Um, I, I'm not sure about the commenting. I want to make sure that, um, I want to make sure that everyone can comment. Hello. So, um, I am quickly showing you because I have a friend who had back surgery, so I am helping her by making her um, some meals. I'm on her meal train, so I'm making her chicken pot pie today, but um, we home can all of our food. So I'm gonna show you how to use a home can food because um, it can be easy to like can a bunch of food and you don't know how to use it. It just looks pretty on your shelf. So I'm gonna show you how to use your canned food. Um, so the chicken pot pie recipe is a family recipe. And we're going to use um, our canned chicken. Don't be scared of it, it's not gonna hurt you. Uh, we're gonna use our homemade chicken stock, um, which I use rotisserie chickens for, um, like the carcass. We're gonna use our canned peas and carrots. Oh, there goes the oven. Gonna use our canned green beans. And um, I think that's all the canned food that we're gonna use. But this is so simple. And um, just another way for you to actually use the food that you're canning up. So, um, and if you are new here, I'm Janelle and my whole channel is like teaching people how to can food. Um, hence my lovely sweatshirt says ping because the jars go ping when they seal. <laughs> so this is my favorite sweatshirt. Um, but uh, I also have a subscription on here if you wanna to subscribe to my lives. I uh, go live and show you how to can food and how to cook food with your canned food. So. Welcome. Okay, so, and I left my tripod, tripod, tripod down in my scary basement and I don't wanna go down and get it. So you're just gonna have to like go on the journey with me. So first, and I'm not going to spend a ton of time on here. I'm just gonna kind of run through the basics with you. Um, when you are using your canned food, oh, thanks honey for the rose. Um, and my nose is sniffly. Uh, when you use canned chicken, don't be scared of this juice, it is just water, because when you pressure can the chicken, it's going to, um, like you you put all the cubed chicken in here, don't put anything else in, and when you pressure can it, it's going to draw all the moisture out of the chicken and make this juice for it to sit in. So what I do is I drain the um, water out and I'll use that for like different cooking, um, and then I will, um, I'll like chop it up inside, like I'll take a knife, like a butter knife, and I will chop it up inside of the jar because it's gonna be like a brick when you open this up. So let me see, hold on. Okay. You hear that like, so, erg. Okay, we're gonna open that up. I'm gonna drain this really fast. Okay, so like, that is a brick in there because it was pressure canned, it's a vacuum sealed, and uh, that's how you um, can your chicken. So I'm gonna take a butter knife and I'm going to chop it up in there. Oh, I hate this drawer. This drawer is the absolute worst. Oh, it didn't do that time. And whenever we try to open it before the kids get out of bed, it is like squeaky. Okay, so see, I'm just doing that to kind of chop it up in there. And um, so the simple chicken pot pie recipe is um, you're just going to cook all of your vegetables on the stove. So your peas, carrots, green beans, a little bit of onion, like chopped onion um, here. Let me see if I can flip the camera and I'll let you do like a screenshot. Okay. Now, if you wanna screenshot this recipe, go ahead. Um, this is a family recipe. And um, instead of, so I've got the pie crust, instead of um, the baked, chicken breasts. I have my canned chicken. Instead of frozen mixed vegetables, I'm using our canned ones and our homemade chicken broth, um, chicken stock. So go ahead and screenshot that recipe if you want it. 
and all right, and that's that. So, um, so that's it. That's all you have to do. And you're going to follow the directions. You're going to cook the vegetables on the stove. Um, this is my antique <laughs> aluminum um, uh, cast. Is it aluminum cast iron? Someone answer that for me because I thought aluminum can be like a cast iron, but maybe it's not. I don't know. Um, but that is like my great grandma's cooking ware and I use that for a lot. Um, and then you just cook your vegetables, make a roux on the stove. And a roux is just a like, it's almost like a gravy consistency of butter and flour. Um, you're going to mix that all up. You're going to add the vegetables, cook it all up. So it's like a slop. You're going to add your chicken. You're going to put it in your little pie crust right there. And you are going to put that in the oven at 425 for about 30 to 40 minutes and you are set, you're golden. So, um, and don't be afraid to use your uh, canned food because it is so much better for you than what you get on um, the shelves at the store and uh, you know what's in it. You know what's in your chicken stock. You know what's in your vegetables. It doesn't taste metallic. It doesn't taste like, you know, gross or anything like that. It's, it's all good for you. So yeah, but I just wanted to pop on real quick and tell you about that. So, um, let's see. I don't know. Like, I think there's a, I don't know if there's a thing going on with my comments. Um, I know if you are subscribed to my lives, you can comment, but I don't know if anyone else can. So I have to check on that. Um, but if you want to, um, subscribe to my lives. I teach on this stuff all the time. Um, and I do lots of different instructional videos on how to can food at home, how to preserve food at home. Uh, so, um, yeah, go ahead and subscribe if you want more of that or go follow me. Um, I'm here on TikTok, on YouTube, on YouTube and on Instagram, but I'm just going to get started. I've got, got my biscuits. So I'm going to put the biscuits in the oven. Oh, and I forgot to take these out, apparently. Yeah. Where is my... Oh. So I had eggshells in here. See, lovely eggshells. I um, baked my eggshells to dry them out, and I'm going to grind them up, and I'm going to put them in the garden. So all my biscuits are in the oven, I'm going to make the chicken pot pie. So I'm going to um, throw my onion and my um, my butter and all that. I'm gonna make the roux on the stove first. I'm gonna add my vegetables and then I'm gonna add my chicken and then we're gonna get going. So. Mm. You're gonna come with me on the journey. I just had a... I get another one. I had a knife and then I used it. Oh, that drawer is gonna give me ugh, the heebie jeebies. Okay. So I'm gonna get my butter like that. Plop it in like that. And then we're gonna add the onions after that warms up. And I'm sorry if you're getting car sick or seasick or motion sickness from me moving the camera around. I have to because I left my tripod downstairs in the scary basement and I don't want to go down in the scary basement. So this is what we're doing. Okay. Um, and all of my jarred food that I'm using today is from 2021. So um, there's nothing wrong with it. It just needs to be used first because I do, I can every month, um, pretty much every week, actually. <laughs> I'm always canning something. So I have to use the old stuff first, um, first in, first out. That's how we do. So uh, I, but I've had like, we, we've had a surplus of canned food for a very long time. So I need to be using the oldest stuff first. I put you down. 
And I am going to strain these real fast and then um, I gotta get that warmed up faster. Um, so I'm gonna strain these and I'm gonna add these after um, I add the onions. Okay, I've got those done. I've got my green beans too. I'm gonna strain the green beans and add those also. And again, these are perfectly fine. It's like when you when you can food at home, it is, um, if it's done properly, it is frozen in time within this jar. There's no decomposition of the food. Um, there's no bacterial growth inside of the jar. You are golden to use this for years on end after it is properly sealed. So don't be afraid of it. Okay, so I've got that. My kitchen is an absolute mess also, and it is driving me insane because no matter how much I want to be like, oh, I have a routine of, you know, washing the dishes before bed and putting them away in the morning. I love that idea, but um, I have a little bit of executive dysfunction and I get stalled <laughs> very, very easy when it comes to um, looking at the big mess and just giving up before I can even um, do something about it. So I'm working on it, but it's, it's not a perfect process. So that's why you, I'm not letting you see the rest of my kitchen. <laughs> it's just too much. All right, the butter is melting. The only thing I don't like about this aluminum pan um, from like the 1930s is that it's not flat on the bottom anymore. I don't know why. Um, but it's not perfectly flush with my glass top and uh, that's annoying. But other than that, it's fine. Um, yeah, I don't see any comments. So I think there's something going on with my comments. Um, I do know that subscribers can uh, comment. So if you are subscribed to my live, you can comment, but I have to look into other than that. Um, okay, so I'm gonna add the onions because I am at a time crunch. And I'm making a double batch. So what I'm gonna do, this is a quart size. This is a pint size for whoever is unfamiliar with canning. Um, so quart is two pints. Um, and I'm going to divvy this up in half for each pie. So for each chicken pot pie, I'm gonna do half of this jar of these, um, what, half of the jar of these because these are like bigger, they're gonna take up more space. And then I'm going to do half a jar of um, chicken for each one. So I'm just gonna be divvying it up equally uh, within each one um, to take up more space inside, because you don't wanna, like overfill your pot pie otherwise it's gonna like seep over and bubble over and it's gonna be gross not fun okay so I, cook my onions. I don't know where my pot holder went and i have like three pot holders and i'm losing them all the time and i don't know why I'll just have to use this. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. The house is burning down, but it's fine. Okay. <clears throat> so melt the butter over medium heat, add onions, stir in flour, salt, and pepper. <sighs> salt and pepper, okay. Um, I'm going to... So add broth and milk, stir till thick and bubbly. A few minutes. There, it's starting to sizzle. 
Okay, so I need, I got the onions, third cup of flour, but I need, I'm doubling it, so two thirds cups of flour. Uh, one and a half cups of chicken broth, so three cups of chicken broth. And making the homemade chicken broth is the easiest thing in the world. So if you are a convenience cooker like me, um, you are going to probably be purchasing rotisserie chickens. So all you do is you take that rotisserie chicken, strip all the meat off, eat all the meat, and then you save that carcass in the freezer until you have like at least three, maybe four of the carcasses. You throw them in a stock pot with some rosemary, some thyme, maybe some sage. Um, actually not sage because sage can change the flavor complex during the processing uh, or the canning process. So, um, but like rosemary, thyme, um, maybe some other spices. Uh, throw that in with the carcass, uh, maybe some of your vegetable scraps, and um, let it cook, let it simmer on the stove for about three hours, strain it all, and you have homemade chicken stock. And it has the properties of the bones as well. So um, you have a little bit of bone broth in here too because it's the whole carcass, and it is delicious. Delicious. Whenever people come into my house, I'm usually cooking. So, um, this is you essentially in my kitchen with me. Oh, I need. I'm also using this pan because all my other pans were dirty. Okay, I'm gonna add in the stock. Take a stat. <laughs> um, it also calls for milk, but I'm going to use heavy cream instead. Why? Because that's what we're feeling. So two thirds times two is one and a third. So one and a third, about there. I'm running out of counter space too. You know what I would really like would be like one of those commercial kitchens that has like a million square feet of counter space. Totally love that. Okay, let's see. Um, and if any of you like know anyone who would want to learn canning, um, go ahead and invite them to this live. Uh, I know it's about lunchtime for everyone. So if you're working like throw this on the background while you're eating your lunch. Like I'm totally here for questions. If you want to follow me on TikTok, I do a bunch of instructional videos, um, but invite them to this live and it'll be super easy for everyone to follow me from here. Give me a bit of salt. Little bit of black pepper. A little more because I like pepper. I'm gonna get my whisk for this because this is gonna make it a lot easier.
I might have to add a little bit more flour to make it thicker. Um, but yeah, so um, I have to get going because I have to really uh, get this cranked out because um, I have to go take them to my friend who had surgery. So I'm gonna make her these chicken pot pies. I've got biscuits in the oven and I'm gonna go take those to her in a couple hours probably. Um, but yeah. But if you are um, interested in learning how to can, go ahead and um, subscribe to my lives and uh, follow me on TikTok and YouTube. Um, the links are in my bio and we will see you guys later. So have a great day. Bye guys.